Thanksgiving is the time to give to those in need, and one organization is giving the gift of comfort. The Morning Loops' Mara Jelly Lopez joins us now with how you can take part. Hey, Mara. Hey, Channing. How's it going? If you're looking um, for a way to help out in the community the day before Thanksgiving, you may want to check this out. The community is coming together to build beds for kids in foster care. We just, we just want hands out there to be able to, to help us and then get the joy of being able to give back. The annual Bed Built event is back, and Tony Black, the event's organizer, says they need hands to help assemble the beds. You know, we've, we've averaged about 500 people showing up for the event the last two years, and so we know we, our numbers may be down a little bit this year. Due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, the organizers expect less volunteers to show up, but they do encourage those who are not sick to register for a time slot, put on their mask and gloves, and help out. We, we would encourage anybody to come to the event. They don't have to have any building skills. We'll put them with people who are, uh, will be able to, to help them. The event is organized by Pure Religion Orphan Care Outreach Ministry. It's a local nonprofit that works together with Child Protective Services to help children in need in Smith County. In the county, there are 240 children in foster care, but only 140 foster homes in the area. Organizer Tony Black says one in three kids are not able to be placed in a temporary home because they didn't have a bed to sleep in. Really what we're trying to do is actually keep kids out of foster care by providing a bed for those next of kin, those relative placements, uh, so that, that that child can stay in that situation while the investigation is going on uh, and hopefully never even enter into the foster system. This is the seventh year the event has taken place. It all started because of missions in Moldova. Members with pure religion would go overseas to build beds and orphanages. Upon their return, they realized there was also a need for beds in Smith County. So they got to work. And not only do they provide the bed frame, they provide the mattresses and bedding to make sure every child has what they need to get a good night's rest. This is not something that we as individuals have provided. We're not trying to get a pat on the back, but this is something that God has provided for them and we're just the vehicles to be able to get it there for them. So the event's going to take place Wednesday night starting at 6 p.m. If you want to take part, check out our website at cbs19.tv. There you'll find a link to get registered. We've got you covered, Smith County. Back to you, Channing.